What's up everybody? This is Alex Sylvia, IRA specialist at Newview Trust Company. We're uh, piggybacking a little bit off our last video today. Uh, last one we covered a little bit about cryptocurrencies, what they are, how they're used, and today we're gonna be covering how to actually invest in cryptocurrencies using your self-directed IRA, self-directed 401k, HSA, ESA, any of those can be invested into crypto cryptocurrency. So how do you do it? Well, the first option we've got for you is a platform called ErisX, and they are essentially a brokerage account that you can use through your new view self-directed IRA to invest in the major cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, and use USDC coin, a stable coin, all completely tax-free or tax-deferred, depending on which type of account you use. So if you've got questions about what account is right for you, definitely give us a call and we'll be able to answer those questions for you. So what does the process actually look like to invest in an ErisX brokerage account? Well, first, you're gonna have to have a new view self-directed IRA. And this is as easy as giving us a call, filling out an application, and we'll get that account opened up for you within 24, 48 hours. Next step is you need to fund the account, which you can do either by a yearly contribution, transferring from an existing IRA, HSA or ESA, or rolling over from something like a employer-sponsored 401k plan, 403b plan. And that's how you get money into your NewView self-directed IRA, HSA, or ESA. Once those funds are in your NewView account, you would have to go to ErisX's website and through there, you would create an ErisX account. The important part being is that you create an IRA type account where you'll actually have an option to select your IRA custodian, which in this case would be NewView Trust Company. Once that account's created, they verified your information, pretty sure you gotta give them a picture of your ID, you know, just general stuff to open up a brokerage account. And once that account is created, you go to your member settings page, download the member application packet, and you wanna provide that to brokerage processing at newviewtrust.com. Our processing team will review the paperwork, ask you how much of your IRA funds you'd like to invest in the ErisX brokerage account, and we would send those funds to your ErisX. Once that occurs and those funds are in there, you can buy and sell those major cryptocurrencies to your heart's content. So just to recap, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, and USDC stablecoin. All of those investments, when you buy them, when you sell them later on, when they've made yet another 100% move to the upside, or maybe not, do your due diligence, do your research. But all of that can occur tax deferred or entirely tax free if it's done in a Roth IRA. Now, outside of using an ErisX brokerage account, if you wanna venture off from those major cryptocurrencies, you either have the option for you know, waiting for ErisX to add more coins, which they do have plans for. My belief is that they're looking to see which coins uh, prove themselves to be you know, most vi viable to be around in the long term, which good for them, they're looking out for their investors. The other option is to establish an LLC. What the LLC is going to do is it's going to serve as a conduit for your IRA's funds. So you're actually going to be investing your IRA into an LLC that you create with, a, with its own bank account. And from that point, you have the freedom to choose whichever cryptocurrency brokerage you'd like, as long as they're IRA friendly. And this is important because you just want to make sure that they're not going to be sending you tax forms on a yearly basis. An IRA is something that's tax advantage, so it's not going to be treated like a regular person investing in cryptocurrency. You're not going to be paying capital gains taxes on a yearly basis, which is the beauty of investing using a self-directed IRA. Now, when you create the Checkbook Control LLC and you invest your IRA funds into it, you have to know that we relinquish at NewView a lot of our custodial responsibilities. You know, if you, if you have this Checkbook Control LLC set up, you've got almost 100% autonomy in what your investments are and how you're managing your IRA's investments through that LLC. So if this is a structure that you want to take advantage of because you want to invest in some of the more exotic altcoins, you just want to be sure that you know the do's and the don'ts of IRA's investments. And this really comes down to number one, prohibited transactions, and number two, disqualified people. Prohibited transactions is essentially buying, selling, trading, loaning, or extending services to anybody that could be deemed as a disqualified party. 
also any companies that are associated with any disqualified parties. Disqualified parties, it's basically up and down lineage. So parents, grandparents, kids, grandkids, their spouses, as well as you and your spouse. These are people, these are parties, again, companies that they're associated with as well, that your IRA is disqualified from doing business with. Now, this doesn't so much apply to cryptocurrency investments as it does to something like real estate where you're purchasing properties back and forth. You may be renting to somebody, and in this case, it cannot be a disqualified person that you're renting a property to. So it's not really something that you see come up with cryptocurrency investments, but if you're still gonna have that checkbook, checkbook control structure, you still wanna be aware of these rules because there may come a day in the future where you wanna branch out from cryptocurrency. Maybe you make an incredible return on a Bitcoin investment or an Ethereum investment. Who's to say that you may not wanna take some of those proceeds and go invest in a piece of real estate? You can do so using that checkbook control LLC setup, but you just wanna be more aware of the rules than you would have otherwise if you would have just bought the real estate directly in your IRA because at that point, we still have our custodial oversight. We can raise the red flag if we see that you might be doing something prohibited, but if the checkbook control structure is something you set up, we don't see a lot of what's going on behind the scenes. We only ask you for a fair market value a couple times a year so we can still report to the IRS the value of the IRAs we hold custody to, but what's actually taking place under that umbrella we're not privy to that. That's all on you. There's autonomy. With great power comes great responsibility. You just want to know what the rules are, the do's and don'ts. You know, don't be paying yourself as a manager. That's definitely disqualified. If you want to make a contribution to add funds to the LLC and then add to the cryptocurrency brokerage account, the flow of money still has to come through NewView first. So in the case of a yearly contribution, you couldn't just deposit that directly into the LLC's bank account. You would have to make a contribution to NewView first, and then you would do a purchase authorization, giving us written authorization to send those added funds over to your LLC's bank account and from the LLC's bank account into the cryptocurrency brokerage. So a little roundabout way of doing it, but what you end up getting is, the, like I said, the freedom to choose which cryptocurrency brokerage you'd like. And this is important when you're dealing with all the exotic altcoins is because some platforms have different offerings than others. You know, there may be some commonalities between the two, but if you're looking for something very specific, there could be one brokerage that has it while a lot of others don't. If you have any questions about the how-tos of investing in cryptocurrency, give us a call here at NewView. Our number is 407-708-1853. You can also email us at iraspecialists at newviewtrust.com. If you have any questions about cryptocurrencies themselves, I'll give you five minutes. You know, if you give me a call, we'll talk about it and see where your thoughts are, where my thoughts are. But at the end of the day, you're the entrepreneur, you're the investor, you're making self-directed decisions. So just keep that in mind as you make your investments moving forward. So thanks for hanging out, everybody. We'll see you next time.